Okay, we're rolling. Just have a few minutes. The uh, light's fading fast here. If you look in the background, you can see Mount Benson. Uh, today, I'm going to do a pan test. What I've done is uh, I put the second plate uh, on top here, so when, uh, when I start up the drill pipe, that the flame is actually going to come up and go out this way, then I'll be able to show you the different levels, then do a, do a hot water test. Just something fun. Now this is for uh, a new series of stoves that I'd like to introduce as being the Alaska stove. But you'll be able to actually take a, a truck or a car rim and uh, use that as your base in which to build upon. So I guess the nickname would be a tire stove, but uh, uh, the use of it would be for you know, cooking large pots of water. If this year was like this, you'd be able to cook large pots of water. And the flames coming out the sides here, you'd be able to heat up the uh, maybe 40, 50 gallons of water uh, where the uh, tire portion goes. All right. My fans on this last legs. It's on low. Here we go. Go through a lot of lighters. As you can see, there's a little bit of wind here. Just going to leave it warm up a bit. The beauty of this is that you could have your stove down here and uh, you'd be able to heat and cook at the same time, and you could actually turn your your water put them into a place to sit. Maybe put some soapstone on top. It'd be excellent for uh, all you guys out there that like to fish, ice fish in the winter. Or maybe for a camp kitchen up in Alaska. But definitely this would be your one of your primary emergency stoves. Alright, it should be warmed up. We'll crank her up a little bit. That's your, basically, your uh, exothermic flame. Just your normal, conventional, everyday. And as you tune the air, you'll be able to see the uh, flame actually change. That's at no, at the very lowest air. Lots of orange. As you tune it down, the orange disappears. You can see uh, right in here that the uh, light blue is given away, or dark blue is given away to a light blue. So it's going into your level two, of your transitioning flame. We'll give it some more air here. The flame hasn't gone inside yet, but still exothermic. Probably hear, hear the plane now, it's listening pretty good. This is, but this is my uh, first test, my first vertical test using this configuration. Just waiting for it to more or less warm up. And as we're doing that, I'm also feeling the kettle here. No water. More or less just a fun test. Not training for over unity this time. Normally right in here you'll get a bright orange ring. Okay. 
maybe what I'll do, uh, I'll zoom in for you guys so you can have a closer look. I'm going to have to drop the height on this. Zooming in. All right. Maybe a little more zoom. That should be good. You actually get a better profile if it's on the side. Starting to turn orange on top. It's cranking up a little bit more. Maybe give it more gas. It's getting ready to uh, pop inside here. The top is turning orange pretty quick. camera so you guys will be able to get a look here. That's what it looks like. Beautiful snow for camping. Well for feet and lots of people. Just imagine the large pot of soup you can put on for a lot of hungry people. Let's go to level two. We're ready to go into level three. Okay. Let's crank it up. The top is a good orange now. Got a nice hot burn for you guys that want to make this. You're gonna to have to go to a good heavy uh, 3 8 or even half inch. You also, make your plates from uh, you know 24 to 36 inches in a hexagonal shape. I'm sure that this uh, got the heat here, we're having no trouble heating it. You guys, a quick peek again. There. It's called the Alaska stove or tire stove. I got in the center to hold the uh, fire cone in place. The fire cone actually spins the fire a little bit better. As you can see,